This leads to an increase in sales. It helps establish customer loyalty faster. You are listening to Amplify Your Success Podcast, episode 320. And today I'm going to reveal why being an authority brand gives you a competitive advantage, especially in a crowded market. You ready for this? Let's get started. Welcome to the Amplify Your Success Podcast. Get ready to ramp up your revenue, amplify your impact, and make your mark in the world. This is the show for experts, thought leaders, and service professionals who want to shatter their limits and achieve that next level. You're going to find out from other experts and influencers how they made it. Now, let's get Amplified. Hey there, inspired entrepreneurs and business leaders. Your host, Melanie Benson here, authority amplifier and possibility igniter. Now, before we dig into today's episode, I'm I'm actually really excited for this episode because I'm seeing a trend happen right now with my clients that are in Ignite. And it, it's really exciting to watch. It, it has to do with shifting your positioning from being one of many to being an authority. And there's a little bit of a edge that you get, like this competitive advantage. But what I'm finding as I'm meeting with potential clients and doing strategy sessions with the Ignite members is that some people don't really understand how to leverage their authority and they're actually blocking the very thing that gives them the most credibility and the best positioning in their market. And what's happening is they're like just ending up being a best kept secret. They're not confident with shining a, a brighter light on their brand. They're not doing the things that would actually attract more clients. So they end up having this um, steady block that just acts like a barrier. And so I'd like to help you identify if that's happening in your business. If you feel like you're stuck in best kept secret syndrome, and you have ideal clients that you meet with and they end up choosing your competition. Maybe you feel like you're getting passed over by great opportunities and they keep going to that big name, you know who that person is in your market, then chances are you do have a hidden authority barrier and this is where I shine. I'd really love to help illuminate what's causing that to be there and give you some practical tools and strategies to help make this not only the best year ever, but uh, help you really command top dollar for the work that you do that is so valuable. So I just created a quiz to help you identify this barrier. And then more importantly, discover the one key step that you can take right now. So you stand out and get chosen by ideal clients and great opportunities. If you head over to melaniebenson.com forward slash authority quiz, you can take this three minute quiz And uh, be sure to put your name in at the end so I can send you the results and also give you access to a free mini training that'll help you unpack those results and figure out what to do next. So melaniebenson.com forward slash authority quiz, and I will link this up in the show notes for you. Now, let's talk about what it means to be an authority and why this is going to give you an advantage. And so I know the word authority may be kind of rustly for some people. Let's just put that uh, on the table. I know some people are like, well, I don't really want to be an authority. Like I don't see the value in that. And, And let me just say that this isn't about you like feeling like you're an authority or not an authority. This is about the experience we create for the world around us so they can recognize how we are unique or different than others. And being an authority gives you kind of a, a an edge or a leg up, if you will, when someone is evaluating evaluating multiple candidates. And so authority at the root of that is the word author. And so what's happened in our marketplace is when someone was an author, they almost got this instant authority. And there are more than one way to create that kind of authority brand uh, recognition for your business. But most people have left this dormant and they're not really leveraging it. They're not uh, tapping into that. And so they end up just being invisible in their marketplace. And that doesn't serve anybody. You're not going to help your clients that way. You're not really going to be able to make the money that you hope for. And I, I work with a lot of people who feel like a best kept secret. They feel like they're kind of like this hidden gem and they're, they're frustrated because they know they have something really important to share in a bigger way. 
Um, and this can happen at any level. Um, obviously, when you first get started in your business, you have all the dreams <laughs> and the possibility in your mind, but very quickly you realize, okay, I have to do some very specific things to get my message seen and recognized. And so I, I really look at what can we do to help you stand out, especially when you're in a crowded market. And these five things I'm going to talk about are why choosing to focus on shining a light on your authority is going to give you that competitive competitive advantage. So let's talk first about credibility. So credibility is it's it's a buying lever. So when a potential client is and or a potential partner, someone strategically aligning with you to cross refer any of that People are looking for credible solutions. And when you have uh, helped people like understand your authority in your market, so not even just that you're an expert, but that you're an authority, which in a lot of ways puts you at the top of your bracket, like your niche, your solutions you provide. They are more likely to trust your products and services and This leads to an increase in sales. It helps establish customer loyalty faster and it elevates your influence in the the community that you are. So an authority brand, when you know how to craft that and develop that and showcase that, it gives this instant sense of credibility. Now, obviously you need to back that up with delivering (laughs) Uh, there's lots of stories of people who have um, leveraged an authority brand, but don't have the the delivery behind it. And you don't want to be that person. So credibility is a major key component of increasing sales and getting more opportunity coming your way. Now, secondly, is differentiation. And I'll fully admit, this was really hard for me for so many years. And I was so frustrated. It's like, why? Why, oh, why, oh, why are these big name experts getting all the the sales? And I knew, like I had talked to people in their programs, they're like, they've got nothing on you. Like you're not doing, a, I mean, you're, they're not delivering a fraction of what you deliver. And really the, the, the key distinction was they had learned how to, to really lean into their authority and build a brand around that and build a marketing campaign around that. And so The differentiation factor when you're an authority is, hey, this person really knows what they're doing. They have a track record. It helps you stand out. It's something of it like you're in a sea of sameness. You know, when a a potential client is evaluating a a coach, uh, a virtual assistant, an online business manager, a bookkeeper, an accountant, a consultant to do the thing, right? Whatever it is you do, when they are evaluating people who seem the same, they have very similar messaging, you being an authority gives you an important differentiation in the market. So this helps you be seen as a leader in your industry rather than someone who, you know, does all the things and, you know, maybe doesn't have a uh, specification or real focus. And I got to tell you, when I hire people for certain things, or I look for particular experts in an area, I'm looking for the differentiation. I'm looking for specification. I'm looking at where is their real authority. And I choose them based on that. And I think this is a, this is becoming a more common attribute of what causes people to choose you over someone else. And differentiation can happen in your messaging. It can happen in your offerings. It can happen in your brand name. It can happen through your podcast. It can happen through the talks that you give. So there's a lot of ways to build that differentiation factor in. But if you are not using different, if you are not recognizing the power of differentiation, chances are you are really struggling to stand out in your market and you feel it and you know it. So this is a big reason why authority is going to help. And by the way, this is one of the reasons why I did build that quiz because a lot of the people who were meeting with me to uh, figure out like what was broken and why things weren't working, there were four common things that were pretty much happening all the time. And I thought, okay, I could continue to meet with all the people or I could give you a quiz and help you figure that out quicker. And then if you want to work together and you want to go deeper, 
um, you've already gotten figured out what is in the way and we can do the bigger work. Now let's talk about number three. Okay, so this is the third reason why authority gives you a real advantage in the marketplace, and that is through building a network. So it's a very interesting thing that happens, and it happens very subtly, but it's very clear that it happens. People of influence really look to build a network with other people of influence. Authorities tend to attract people who have established authority and they're looking to have more authority. And when someone chooses an event, they're choosing a uh, mentor, they're choosing uh, somebody to invite to uh, be on their stage, they are looking for people who have authority in their field. And so when you are establishing that authority and you're really letting people uh, know through your marketing practices that you are an authority, this opens up massive opportunities for networking and collaboration. Uh, you're going to find that it's easier to establish partnerships and joint ventures, affiliate arrangements. Uh, you know, the collaboration opportunities tend to exponentially grow when you have authority. Let's go to number four. And this is increasing your visibility. I talk about visibility all the time. And I know you know why it's important to be visible. And not being visible, by the way, is one of the things that might come up in the quiz. <laughs> so sometimes you just aren't doing the things that will bring the visibility. But let me tell you what happens as an authority is getting that visibility is a billion times easier. When you have that authority positioning, these visibility opportunities come to you and it literally flips, I call it flipping the pitch. Instead of working so hard on pitching yourself all the time, these opportunities tend to come to you. Think about what happens with celebrities, right? They normally don't go looking too far for opportunities. They've got a bunch of opportunities coming to them and their job is to weed out what's aligned and what's not. And this is what happens as an authority is you don't have to work so hard to get that speaking opportunity, to get that partnership arrangement, to get that invitation to be um, on someone's podcast or a coveted show. They're looking for you already and it's just about getting on their radar, being in front of them when they're looking to book someone or, you know, maybe making a little connection moment saying, hey, you know, I do that. And they're like, wow, they're an authority. It's a grand slam right in the door. So you have to prove yourself self less and that's significant. So increased visibility because you have that perceived authority, you have to do less work for the visibility and the visibility will exponentially like go out through the networks throughout the different platforms because your positioning is kind of leading the way. So it really leads to more uh, easier visibility opportunities. And last, and I got to tell you, this is my favorite one. And I'll tell you a little secret when I reveal what the, the fifth one is. It helps you command higher prices. Here's a very interesting shift that I see happening in the market. I see a major shift with um, premium clients not interested in these mid-tier offerings. Like they don't really want to go through groups. They don't really want to join um, these um, online courses. They don't really want to download a template. They want and are willing to invest premium rates to get access to the authority to help them solve their problems. And so high ticket premium offerings are really gaining popularity because people are more discerning with how they spend money. And when they do invest money, they want to invest in the authority. They want to invest in the person that they have more trust with and rapport with. And I believe that as you establish your authority, it gives you, it, it helps you have an easier time, not just putting those prices out there, but actually people are like, okay. Oh, they're like, yeah, of course, that's what you're going to charge. So as your authority grows and you elevate your authority more and more, it's easier to sell those higher price point offerings. Uh, first of all, because there's a perceived value. So think about Mercedes versus like a, a, a Toyota. And, and there's both great cars, but there's this perceived 
um, a th- elevated, not really authority, but elegance, right? It's like it's a premium brand versus a Toyota. And so you expect to pay more for that Mercedes, even though it does the same thing, it still gets you from your home to the uh, event you're going to or to pick up your kids from school or go across country for a fun trip, whatever you're doing. Higher prices help you increase your revenue and your earnings, and it reinforces your authority brand. When I went more to higher price point offerings and I started stopped dallying in the low and mid tier like membership type stuff. Oh my gosh. Not only was it so much easier, but I I attracted these clients that are so much more my clients. Like there's such a joy to work with them and I love my clients. I feel so grateful for who they are and what they're bringing to the world. And I get this these are game changers. These are influencers. These are people who are up to great things. They're making bold moves and they're willing to invest in their growth. They're willing to invest in where they're going. And so as an authority, it's so much easier to sell those packages. I have a client who I worked with for a couple of years. Uh, I'm still working with him and he, he was already an authority, but he really wasn't owning it. And this is a big distinction. And so by owning it, I took him through an exercise to really understand the value he brings to his clients. This light bulb went off and he was way undercharging, really undercharging. And all of a sudden he he could see, like, because I kept telling him, you need to double your rates. You need to really bring this up. And I've helped him double his rates almost every year since we've been working with him. He's getting it. And the only thing that changed was his owning it his owning his authority and really understanding the value proposition. And I taught him how to sell those packages and it was like major light bulbs. So being the authority really is a pa- giving you that path to be able to sell higher price point offerings. Now, all of these factors combined really, I think, gives you great clarity why I, I'm building my brand around helping you be an authority. And it's they're, they're, the um, the advantage is really clear. Like when I see what happened in my own business and I see what happens in my ideal clients' businesses, when they own that authority and then really leverage it and do a better job building visibility. And um, I mean, they're not doing anything they wouldn't already do. They're just being intentional about sh- shining that light on their the expertise that they already have. But Ultimately, they have to really recognize what's in the way. Sometimes it's mindset. Sometimes it's a, they don't have the right strategy. Sometimes they're just not amplifying it enough. And I'd like to help you get clear what's getting in the way for you. Like if you're not experiencing these things already, chances are you do have that visibility block or so you have that authority block. And if you head over and take the quiz, go to melaniebenson.com forward slash authority quiz And take the quiz, ask for the results, and then tell me what comes up for you. I really want to hear what result comes up for you, where is the block, and what do you want to do about it, right? Knowing what's in the way is the first step, but then you got to be willing to do something about it. Now, I promised you a little secret when I talked about higher prices, and I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm going to be hosting an online event, a three-hour workshop where I'm going to help my clients really own their authority by developing a premium offering. And and I'm going to help you build the roadmap to not just sell it, but to really like up level your brand as an authority this year. I'm super excited about it. Uh, We have very limited seats at the event. I'll link it up in the show notes, or you can go to authorityacceleratorevent.com and uh, check out the opportunities. If we've already sold out all the seats, Uh, It'll say, you know, sold out, but hop over there right away because if you can grab a seat in the February event, you definitely want to do that. All right, be sure to tell me what your authority barrier is and let's break through it together so you can really take advantage of this competitive edge that you'll get by owning your authority this year. 
Thanks for tuning in today, Amplifier. Be sure to join us right now in the Amplify Your Authority community at authorityamplifiers.com, and I'll share my seven proven tips to be a highly paid expert that stands out in a crowded market. Plus, we're going to keep this conversation going, and I want to hear from you how you're going to amplify your authority and make a greater impact. Before you go, please take a minute to give our show and our guests some love over on your favorite podcasting platform. Subscribe, rate, and review. Leave your full name, and I'll spotlight you and your authority on social media. 